Hey everybody, Danny Watt here. Thanks for joining us. How often do you stand over the golf ball with a million and one things to think about? You hit a few bad shots and you do not know what you've done wrong. Or you try a few things, but it sends you down a rabbit hole of so many things to think about that it just leaves you completely confused. Well, in this week's golf lesson, what I wanna do is I wanna share with you a very, very simple drill that you can do indoors, on the practice range and even out on the golf course that can help you understand the golf swing so much better, but more importantly, help you feel what you need to do very, very quickly to get your swing back going. Works for your irons and your driver. Before I get into the video, look, if you're new to the channel, this is one of your first uh, times here, please consider subscribing. Press that little bell button next to the subscribe button. You get notified every time I release a video just like this one. Plus, if you do enjoy this golf lesson, there's a free practice plan in the description box below so you don't have to remember a thing. Just go and download it there. Okay, so what is this exercise? How can it really help you? Let's start off. If you can do this with me now, just stand up and literally get yourself into a decent posture position. Now, be balanced to get your weight nice on the balls of your feet here. And I want your arm just literally just resting on the sides of your legs here. Your trail arm, okay, needs to be just slightly closer to your trail knee, but you're simply just sliding it down. Now from here, what I want you to do is we're gonna work on helping you get a very simple pivot and show you exactly how the body works and how that then is, is used to swing the golf club to a consistent point on the ground and on a consistent arc, okay? I want you to start like this. Get yourself set, and all we're gonna do now is gonna develop the backswing. We're gonna get your arms, your lead arm sliding down your leg here as the lead knee turns inwards to where the ball would be here. Can you see how I'm pivoting here, right? It is not this, by the way. Some people make this mistake, so watch out for that. Try and stay centered as you do it. We're gonna slide down here, creating this pivot. This is your backswing look. Yeah, that's your backswing. Now, into the downswing, watch this. We're now gonna surf across. What is this surf? Well, at this stage, you should feel the weight at the back top of the backswing in the heel of your trail foot and the front part of your lead foot. Just increase the sense that you're putting more pressure into the front part of your lead foot. This is a surf across. Then into your downswing, we're simply going to reverse this entire process. We're simply going to slide down the leg and look how the right knee on my trail knee moves in towards the ball. I start to extend my lead leg and I'm literally in here. Okay, So that's kind of talking you through. We can gradually learn to speed this up and get a feeling of what the golf swing is all about. Notice this, how many problems are seeing in people's golf swings where they're moving off the golf ball? That doesn't happen here. If you slice the golf ball, this is what you'll do. That's a slice. There's no going down as you should do. There's a, a round motion. So if you slice the golf ball, this motion here will be very different and it will feel a bit strange to you. If you hook the golf ball, this is what you do. So you've gone down, yes, but you haven't pivoted around. You haven't got the pivot going around. You haven't turned this way. So you, you've basically slid, causing a flip, yeah? So this, again, gives you that great feeling. But how do you transfer this then to the golf club? So let's have a look at this. Now, you can use a normal club. I often like to use a junior club, but you don't have to. In fact, if I, I'll do that in a second. I'll use a normal club first. So what we do is you get yourself into your posture position and what we're going to do is we're going to slide down the lead leg here and I'm going to, you know, I want you to put the club in a position where it's light just in your trail abs and make it light. Some people when they first do this, they put it nice and straight like this, just literally make the club nice and light. You've got a nice pivot and then watch this. All you're going to do, keeping that lead hand on the, on the lead leg, you're going to literally just do what we've just done. Slide it up and allow this to slide down. Look at this. And you can see here how the body is influencing this club. There is one rule with this. I've always said throughout my videos, let the club go, let it feel, let gravity work. None of this works if I'm holding tight to this, because look, if I do this and I'm hanging on to this, the club won't do anything. But I want my body to tell the club where, where it needs to go. So as I slide now, I'm allowing the gravity to fall as I pivot through the shot, I'm getting this 
sensation. If you do this with a club, some people might find this a bit heavier. So I've actually got a junior club here. You can do it with a junior club. Literally slide it down, find a nice light position, and then look, feel what my body's doing here to get the club working back down to the golf ball. Down. It's almost, look at this here from here. As I do this, I'm almost getting this catapult effect. As, my, as I turn back and then I extend here, this throws the club down to the golf ball as I pivot through. Again, if I was to hook the golf ball, I might kind of extend down, but without any rotation, I get stuck and I flip. If I slice the golf ball, I might get this position, but then do this, rather than go down, I go around. So it's a wonderful way to feel this. If you're brave enough, you could try on the driving range, you could try this, do a few swings one-handed. So we're literally, we're gonna get the pivot here, and then literally allow that to go. And do that once or twice. But you don't have to. I don't get many of my students doing that. What I often do is, is I'll get them to sometimes work on one bit of the swing at a time. So if they feel like we're working on the back swing, a lot of people, for instance, don't get this pivot. They don't get this lead shoulder going down. They go around. They get to the club fanning the club around. So what I'll do is I'll get them to slide this down, get a feel for it, and go, does that feel different? And they go, yeah. So let's just work on that. So we literally get ourselves set, and we work on just pivoting just initially on the backswing. No, don't care at all where the ball goes, just literally let's pivot in the backswing, then let's let it go. Okay, let's have another look at that. So I'm literally going to pivot in the backswing, then let it go. Okay, backwards and forwards. Now, if your backswing's pretty good and you want to work on the downswing, you might then want to kind of get the pivot going this way, focus on this side. So you might go, okay, what do I need to do here? Well, okay, pivot down. Get the feel of this motion. So it's kind of like there. Okay, let's focus on that. Back, through, just getting that kind of pivot. Then you can start to get a sense of where power comes from by going one, two, one, two. You want to build the power up here, start to use the ground look to fire from. Get that sensation as you're swinging backwards and forwards, and then start to put that into the swing in a flowing fashion, backwards and forwards. Like that. Now I'm starting to add some speed to this whole motion as I'm going. Now, one factor with all of this, you must let this club go. If you aren't letting this club flow freely, none of this really works. So the, remember, you hold the club out in front of you, feel the weight of it, let the gravity work, get a sense of this club head flowing freely. And then remember, the movement of what you're doing with the body, that is then telling that gravity where it needs to go. And this is what this drill basically is all about. So that is it, it's a simple, simple exercise. But I love it because a lot of people, they misinterpret turn. They turn like this, and they turn like this, and this causes so many problems. It is not a turn, it's a pivot, which creates, yes, turning motions, but much more of a pivot like this keeps you very, very centered as you play, increasing the likelihood that you're gonna strike the ball, then the ground with your irons. The other thing is, is when you're over the ball, you can use the ground for power, just as you, you wanna do with drivers. So this works with your driver too. Backwards here, forwards here. Get that sense uh, going backwards and forwards. Nice and nice and easy. We can, you can use a junior club. That's it, one more for you here. We're gonna wind it back to the top, wind it back through, getting that sense of staying over that ball. And it, as simple as that. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this training. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with somebody who's struggling to understand the swing. You can see them moving around all over the place, finding the hands, rolling the arms, and they want something nice and simple to feel. And this drill really, really works. You can break it down into a backswing, get a feel for that. There, you could work on your downswing, and then clearly at home, you can literally blend them all together 
It's really, really good. I love it. So if you enjoy the training, like I said, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with some friends. And of course, if you're new to the channel, remember there's a free practice plan. You don't have to remember a thing in the description box below. Go and download it. But until next week, have a great golfing week.